Hey guys, what's in Papu? Welcome back to a new battle report. Today I've played more aggression force versus um, ALF or ALF, whatever. And we've played on this ITS mission called Acquisition, okay? Which uh, is basically a mission where you have to activate antennas, control antennas by getting uh, in base contact with the, um, with the antenna. And you have a tech coffin right at the middle that you have to control, uh, but it only will count at the end of the game, giving you three points. And if you have done it with your data tracker, then it will give you a two extra uh, points, okay? At the same time, there is one classified and the deployment zone is increased again by 16 inches deep, okay? So, uh, it's been very interesting. I've learned a lot uh, from playing this uh, battle today. Uh, I'm just learning more and more. And even if I lose, well, some days you win and some others you learn. Uh, I will never consider a, a loss as something negative. It's just the other way around. It's always good. All right. Uh, well, this is the way is uh, the scenario. Okay. As you can see, it is 16 inches uh, deep. And this time I won uh, the whip roll, and I thought, well, this mission definitely is much better if you just uh, f um, finish, uh, if you finish the game. Mainly because if you control the tech coffin, there's nothing your opponent can do apart from an arrow that can kill your, um, your miniature. But depending on the miniature, you're trying to uh, get close to the tech coffin, or actually in contact is pretty difficult so you can get a lot of uh, points if you keep your data tracker safe or at the last moment at the very last moment you just go run and get into the tech encounter with the tech coffin which gives you straightforward five points okay uh, but I don't know this time I thought you know what sometimes it's actually good when you've got like beautiful and powerful people like I'm gonna show you in a minute Sometimes, if I can hunt some people down and maybe kill you three, four others, then that will give me the chance to get in a point where by my third turn, I can just get in contact with Tech Coffin with my strongest miniature or with my actually die hardest miniature I've got. And then with your left orders, it might not be enough to, uh, well, get rid of my, my big guy in contact with the tech coffin, okay? So, let's take a look at the at the deck list I was playing today. Uh, I forgot to mention that we were playing limited insertion. Um, and I'm not very used to play limited insertion with um, these these guys. But this time, uh, I play a Raito, or a Reiko, as I've been hearing in English. And I, I wanted to try this new version, which I think is, is pretty good. I wanted to try how uh, well the mine dispenser was working. And well, also the heavy shotgun is pretty like cheesy and nice, okay? Right, what else? Uh, I was playing bit because uh, versus Alev, I know he probably will, he will be probably playing um, the Navas, he will probably be playing um, uh, Nagaha with a killer hacking device. Then I was playing this um, core, although it's, it's not, it's a fire team, but it's not uh, made of five miniatures this time. Uh, I just saw that on what well, um, one list that a guy that is playing more at, uh, in the local store um, was playing a day. And it's pretty interesting because it's a core with only three minutes though, but it allows you to throw um, two smoke templates because you've got at least three guys. Uh, it allows you to get in contact pretty easily with three guys, which is actually what you're really going to achieve by getting into a miniature. It's very difficult to just put five miniatures around, especially when you're throwing smoke or things like that. It's not easy sometimes to get to the miniature and just sur fully surround the miniature with uh, five uh, bases, okay? So, at the same time, uh, playing a, a, 
uh, printer allows you to uh, why not put two um, chain rifle templates which is pretty good uh, I remember once my Achilles was never killed by a, a printer just because I, I failed the physics and the um, armor armor rolls so I was pretty shocked that uh, wow uh, seven points miniature just nearly killed my Achilles pretty impressive then playing this out of uh, Harry's, which is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I cannot afford to play the um, Heavy Rock Launcher, which I really like. But this time I'm playing Kornak, the Surya with HMG, and this Ragtorak, which is, who is part of this uh, Harry's team with Vulcan Shotgun, because he is also a specialist. And as you can see, <coughs> then I'm playing another specialist, the Medtech Obsidian Mechanoid, with, which I think is pretty good because playing Raikou and this guy together will allow me to just repair the Raikou in case Raikou is down. And because he's playing Achilles, or he will probably be playing Achilles or Marut, then, well, this uh, Zero Hacker with the Assault, Assault Hacking Device. Thing is, is pretty necessary. Well, let's see what happened. So this is the table. It's not exactly, but I just forgot to take a picture this time. We just put some different elements, but the main buildings were there. So the only difference was that there was a, a wall here, there was another uh, wall here, and another wall here. Pretty much, that was it. So this was my card, okay, this is where I deployed and I deployed first and then he deployed second and uh, well, that was my card, so I had to uh, hack my HPT with uh, um, with roll minus three, okay. Then I put my base right here then I put my case, then I put my Harris here, just making sure this time that a corner was safe and sound and nothing could just kill him right at the very first attempt. Then I put my other uh, fire team right here, just pretty hidden as well, but just um, getting ready to throw some smoke here or here. Then I put my um, engineer and Dr. Worm. In this case, I'm not playing a Dr. Worm because I don't really fancy playing a kind of a Worm when I'm playing more aggression force. So I made a conversion using a cool guy and just putting some extras I had from the um, ah, what's the name of that girl in Aleph? Why is the basically the Dr. Engineer as well? Um, I can't remember now the name. This is quite on right here, but I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, soft detector, thank you. <laughs> Finally, yay, I got it. Right, so more pics just to show you a bit more in detail. That was the Kaki, that was the, the Prita or Preta, whatever. That was the Osnard, that was the Kiss, that was a uh, bit. Then the Harris right here. Then, first mistake, I think, in my opinion. I just placed this area very aggressively near, nearby the uh, antenna because I thought, well, maybe after killing the um, TO uh, sniper, multi sniper rifle, maybe I can make it to get to the antenna and connect and go back and keep this area safe from Achilles. Or in, just in case Achilles wants to move through, I can do it. Or not, well, but anyway. Then I put my doctor here, and then that was my deployment, then he deployed here a camo marker which I immediately knew that basically that was the Naga uh, killer hacking device, but this time I was playing first and I had an idea but it was too late. I'm telling you again, I was a bit thick today, but well, well, that's what happened, it's good to realize, even if it's you know later on when the game is over well, you still have a chance to uh, make your wrongs right for the next. Okay, so he put a uh, daylight repo here. He put the proxy engineer, the MK1. 
he put a just a normal um, robot here or robot. Yeah, I think it's robot. Yeah, Lameth Lameth reboot. Yes, this is Daleth reboot. And this is Lameth reboot. And he put another Daleth here. These guys are very good. He is playing actually this list because uh, I I mentioned him that these guys were amazing, especially versus all Geo camos and well hidden deployments. It's very good. The sensor is just amazing. Then he put the proxy uh, MK5 with two uh, S S uh, SMG and the other Daleth. And here there was another camo marker with next to the H his HVT. And there was a Mimlian officer just um, prone on top of this building, on this roof. And there was another than I was here. One piece of advice that I would like to give you that I've learned recently is that, uh, especially in limited insertion, everybody's playing uh, big miniatures that, you know, like Silhouette 7, Silhouette 6. And I don't really like to deploy people um, prone on a not very tall building mainly because it happens to me more than once that this is climb with a normal movement and then this is this the, i mean they're so tall that they can really see your prone uh, and then you're wasting a miniature because obviously no one's going to survive none of these miniatures can really survive four dice uh, agent shock so I would rather put this guy right here instead, right here, or just make sure the the building is um, tall enough just to uh, you know put people prone and make I mean making sure they're safe even if someone's climbing over that at least they have to climb a lot to get in line of sight. Nope. Right. Uh, what else? Doesn't seem to be working. Okay, then my last miniature, I play my, my root here, but obviously it's not my root. It's uh, basically is pretending to be a ratio or ratio. I don't know. <laughs> I say ratio or ratio actually. Then he played his Achilles just in front of my of my uh, ratio. Okay, so I started and well, I don't know if that's a mistake or not, but obviously what I wanted was uh, his Teo being revealed so I can just shoot at him with either my Harris with my HMG or with my Reiko with the multi HMG. And I know that he might be, well, he might be, He's actually shooting at me if he re wants to reveal. He might be shooting at me at 16, but I'm all, but I, I, um, I am also throwing smoke grenades at my feet at 16. So I'm running two dice versus one of his dice. Even if one of my dice is like uh, higher than, than his, basically, I'm placing the smoke, so it, I'm safe. That was the idea, and obviously that miniature is revealed, so I, that, that was the plan, okay? Uh, there you are. So after I moved, he said, "Okay, there will be an arrow coming from my um, Tio camo, uh, carrying sniper rifle, and I'm gonna shoot you with a uh, double action." And boom, he created me. So boom, boom, boom. Very bad starting. So having done that, I said, "Okay, well, it's time for the uh, Raiko to start shooting some dice." Now, I know the dice are, it's not a good trade really, because the first time I moved, obviously I was out of range, so by the time I got here, obviously he was shooting me at 16, whereas I was shooting at a 8, okay? I was shooting at 8 because when I got here, I was uh, obviously not in cover. I mean, I was in cover, but not for that turn. Mm. I couldn't uh, get any benefit from the cover on that action. So I was shooting at 8, none of them got in and actually I got a, I got wounded so then I thought well now I've got cover I've got more protection so let's try it again so I tried again and he was doing another wound on me so I was a bit frustrated at this point because I couldn't make it 
Then I made a bad move, and I thought, well, why don't I move this harvest? Because I'm, I'm rolling a, another die, so that might make the difference. So the first time I did that, although it was very bad because my HMG was out of range, so I, I got an, another minus three, I was actually going at maybe twos or ones. I think I was going at ones. Yeah, minus 12, so at ones. Well, anyway, I crit. So I was like, okay, well, it's a bad idea. I'm lucky I crit. I don't want to do it again because it's a bad idea. So then uh, with the right call, uh, I tried again, I kill him. And I made a mistake here because uh, I just put like two mines because there was a knife here. So if this Naga wanted to start activating and killing my my um, Sarah, at least there was a mine here ready to explore him. And there was another one here for Achilles or for, for whomever wanted to go through this uh, alley, okay, or oh, alley, yeah. So, turn one, Achilles, being very shy, just uh, show up a little bit, just to throw at the mine I've shown you before, which was uh, this one, okay, that's the one he's trying to uh, disconnect or kill, basically. So yeah, he successfully got rid of this one and then the next thing he did was uh, uh, one of my mistakes was to deploy this guy too close to this so next time if I'm playing a uh, forward observer then no problem but if it's a hacker I would rather not deploy um, a miniature that can be effectively uh, killed just by mm, doing um, in action and then boom surprise attack and blah 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 that's exactly what happened anyway uh, he revealed and he absolutely smashed my zero my bad bad play okay then with Achilles uh, he moved a little bit more and he just shot at my um, Raiko and he managed to uh, wound him four times I was like completely I think I failed and then all of his shots got into my Raiko and well he couldn't make it so well he I think he could save one three ammo saves but the fourth one was enough to put him down. Alright so at least was just with uh, all his speed moving through uh, passing the antenna keep moving around the, the building and he stopped there because then he announced that he wanted to um, actually use his Garuda attack board used by another miniature. I think it's an extra moi. Uh, but basically, the extra moi went here. Distant enough for me not to, uh, well, well, just turn around. Then I made a mistake when I deployed this Dr. Wound because I didn't realize that the actually line of sight, which is actually well painted on my miniature, was like that. I should have turned this a little bit, something like this. So I actually had line of sight to all every, every place, actually. But okay, my bad, didn't do it. So uh, dodge with a minus three. But obviously, I got completely um, smashed. Then uh, the turn was over, so I started moving. The first thing, look at my orders left, it was just ridiculous. I think I had like five or six orders left. Well, so, well, I've tried to kill the Garuda because it was an easy target, so it's just more a bit. Uh, backwards towards my deployment zone and then I just shot at um, that Garuda attack board that was there. What else? Uh, yeah, that was the line of sight with the Garuda with my HMG. It was pretty easy actually. Even the cover and the mimetism bought five dice. I mean, he was managing to dodge a thing. No, he, he tried to shoot at me, but obviously long distance, not, not pretty easy. So, uh, it was killed easily. What else? Then the Harris kept moving, and this HMT found line of sight with the um, hacker killing device Naga. So I, was, I shot at her, but unfortunately I couldn't manage to uh, 
um, killer basically. I did influence one that much, but then she she went up, and I couldn't make anything else. Well, actually, I I just left here, like okay. So in his turn, basically. Oh no, sorry, I made a big mistake. I first killed when I was here. I actually moved around here. Sure, the Naga, the Naga went um, dodged. Then I, I came here, so the Naga couldn't see me. I actually killed the Naga, then I went here. And that was enough to get in line of sight with Achilles. But in a such a way that Achilles couldn't see me somehow till I got to this point. So well, it's a bit funny, but I think we counted that I had cover. So then basically I shot at Achilles and I crit an Achilles, but then in one single dice he crit me too. So nothing happened and my turn ended. Then he was uh, at, he was playing in a coordinate order with this the left, the other the left, the proxy MK5 and the same Achilles just to move a little bit. Um, right. Then basically Achilles just moved, moved a little bit and when he moved he wounded my agency so I, I wouldn't just, uh, I passed the, the whip roll to uh, fail guards and get hidden here behind this wall. Then he triangulates somehow in a such a way that he got this line of sight with my um, corner that was right here. Because, yeah, and, well, I tried to shoot at him, but obviously, I was thinking, well, 14 plus 3 for range, minus 6, that is actually 11, which is pretty good with two dice. But still, Achilles managed to um, wound me, so I just, I went a bit backwards, looking for cover, and I was safe here. Then... Achilles decided to move around this building till he got line of sight just from here. Just moved to the corner and he was able to see at my rack to rack with my with the Balkan shotgun. Uh, well, I try I, I tried to dodge, which I think is the good decision, but at the same time is the bad decision because I don't like to base um, like arrows in how lucky will I be to create on Achilles? But the thing is, if I can manage, because I'm losing already, so if I manage to create Achilles, plus he gets burned, no ODD, then I might get a chance to kill Achilles pretty easily. Right? That would be the idea. <laughs> but that's what happened. No, I'm, I dodge in the end, but I fail when he uh, successfully... Um, beat my, my Ractorak and after beating my Ractorak I lost my Harris bonus so he was actually shooting at my um, at my my lieutenant and what's his name um, okay Kornak there you are so he killed Kornak pretty easily and then he killed the HMG just for the sake of it uh, well, then with coordinate orders, he just to sum it up, he managed to be uh, moving all these uh, guys trying to achieve something. He actually uh, connect antennas, he actually uh, managed to uh, play two successful um, four observer roles. And because of that, he could just make his uh, classified pretty easily. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but because it's considered um, a PS attack, uh, we just use that as cover because he didn't want to get be I mean in line of sight with all the miniatures, so he just went here, which she had line of sight, as you can see, no big deal. She had bonus, but cover as well. So, well, somehow he got one and three, and that was like super good because in, in this, this actually, I don't really like this mission 
I mean this classified objective because you have to pass even if it is in Spanish you, I'm sure you will understand you have to pass two rules well he was very lucky because there's like verse 2 so he could just manage to uh, pass this role so in the end two points to, for activating two antennas two points for uh, controlling two antennas and one point for this HVT um, mission so 5-0 I was completely smashed now when I finished I felt like so like I didn't really know what was going on here I was I don't really like you know putting all the blame on oh how unlucky I've been just rolling dice so I was thinking what have I done wrong really what, what else could I have done to you know win this game so first of all I thought well if I had to start first, uh, yeah, I think I started with the right plan, which was to uh, reveal that to your um, multi sniper rifle. The thing is, I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have to risk, I shouldn't have had to risk uh, my arsenal. Instead, what I could have done would be to just move my right. Let me just change the color. Let's put a very bright color. So, okay, red. I should have moved my right, my rifle here. Okay, okay. Just let's say I take one of the first one. No problem. Now I'm in cover. I can repeat the same process. And sooner or later, okay. Let's say I have got eleven orders. Okay. So by doing that, um, now I'm on ten. Okay, the first time I'm trying to kill these guys, let's see, uh, I don't succeed, so I'm trying again, so it's 9, okay, and, uh, well, imagine that I can make it, okay, it's not that bad, it's like 4 dice at 8, if it's shot combination, if, I mean, if one connects, that's it, it's the end of the um, MK2 proxy. So let me just put a text. Uh, I want to be able to make my, my numbers here. So right now I would be on 9, right? Let's keep thinking. 9. <coughs> okay, if that is done, then my Zera, who was actually down. We just uh, locate this right here because it was actually easy to move her. But the idea was to put her like that, right, right inside this building. So let's say she moves ten. I actually counted that, and it was she could make it. It was pretty close to that. So ten. What is this camo marker doing? Because if that camo marker reveals revealing a naga with killer hacking device and arrowing me using a killing program, I can actually use one of the killing programs that um, EI hackers can. So you are not in good condition and rolling more dice than you are. So that's not good for you. Then let's say I move and this camo marker is not reacting. Then I can activate the, the, the antenna. Perfect. Um, I've got bonus for being a hacker so I'm going at 16 I think which is pretty easily, oh, it's pretty easy, sorry. Okay, so I was in 11, so 11, 10, 9, 8. I would be right now with 8, all right? Now, from here, I'm of 10 more. And by doing that, now I'm a good range from this Naga, and I'm a good range from Achilles, okay? There were no repeaters. Repeater, his re one of his repeaters was right here. In general, no good uh, point. So I'm moving here. What are you doing? If again, if you reveal that, the same. I'm in bonus. If you do nothing but just reset with Achilles, okay, then I'm playing Oblivion on Achilles. We tried to do that, and it was hilarious because I tried twice, and at on those twice, Achilles was double isolated, okay? 
when the first time we did it, it was like, <coughs> it was like, okay, that was very bad luck. Let's repeat. And we'll repeat. And actually, that's the thing. I bought wheel 13, whereas um, Achilles got wheel 15. Okay. But if I manage to pass successfully the wheel roll, then the next roll he's doing is not that beneficial because Oblivion is. Um, I think is uh, let me just check very quickly. Let's see if I can. Uh, let me just check. Uh, let's hold on. How can you change? Mm. Gosh. Um, hacking programs. Where? Where can I see the hacking programs? Holy moly! Uh, where are you? I'm so used to the phone that now I'm just struggling on finding the things right here. But I can see now the. This is just the. Mm. Hold on. Just, I'm just gonna cheat. Do it on my phone. It's actually cheaper. <laughs> right there, you are. So Oblivion is one dice. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's only one dice, and it's uh, damage sixteen. So you has or Achilles has to pass a safe roll uh, eleven, which is not that good. Okay, so let's go back to the image. So I'm on actually now seven. I'm on seven orders, okay. And now some of you might be thinking, yeah, right. But why you saying now, saying that now? But obviously, uh, you know, now it's not the time. It already happened. Yeah, you're right. But I'm just saying, if that would have happened this way, okay, that would that was the right the, the right way, okay. Well, I've got seven orders. Achilles is isolated. Now with this um, zero here, I'm trying to discover your nada. What are you doing? You're shooting at me? If you shoot at me, I've got a, a boarding shotgun. So I don't think you're really... No, sorry. I don't have a boarding shotgun. I have... Um, well, I have mimetism as well. But you don't. You have a combi rifle and I, and I have a combi rifle. So... You might be, uh, yeah, you've got one more BS than me, but I'm rolling three dice at 14, and you're rolling one at, uh, actually not for, well, 14 minus three for uh, camouflage, but you're rolling 12, I mean, plus three for range, minus three. So I'm rolling at three dice at 11, so you're rolling one dice at 12. Okay, it's not that great anyway. I can actually use one of my hacking programs to just go for it. Like you might fail your BS roll, and if I just pass like a, uh, a hacking program, like I don't know, whatever is double trouble, or I don't know, like a red room or something like that. Uh, I'm actually gonna cheat again. Uh, I could just play uh, Carbonite, maybe. No. Um. Actually, a red room. Yeah. Why not? It's double trouble. There you are. So Nagas got zero uh, BTS. So no problem. Okay. So. With seven or actions, I've killed this guy, I've killed that guy, I have isolated that guy, if I activated this antenna, then I just need to move backwards all the way here or all the way here from wherever, okay? And if Achilles wants to come and kill my Rakyo, he is going to be uh, erroring um, the same thing. He's going to be erroring um, Oblivion till he's isolated again. Right. Actually, his uh, engineer proxy was here, so I was assuming that even though the proxy would have moved, uh, cautious movement here, 
then coming here to uh, save Achilles from the isolated mode already these are two orders okay then Achilles wants to kill this okay maybe he wants to maybe he doesn't want to but the thing is that when I asked my opponent what would you do then if that would have happened this way then he said well I would probably uh, would ignore your Reiko and then I would just come around this way and just once here I would start killing uh, your guys or even more just like coming around here and killing your guys one by one and I thought yeah well this is like one two and three and on this way I've got an arrow here okay if he wants to go this way which is another option okay I still have the rig here okay he might be uh, out of 20 centimeters from my zero okay but anyway it would have been very different he would have to play in a different way he wouldn't be in he, oh I've done it again he would probably uh, would have moved I mean at least play differently but I think that was the way I had to play and well I was very unlucky I think with my Reiko trying to kill this um, Geo Camo because when I when I play this Geo Camo sometimes um, you just fail your dice even if you go in at 16 or you might get a 2 and then with a simple 4 you know with damage 16 shock it's pretty easy to be killed but this time I was a bit stuck uh, he wounded me twice which was very like wow annoying and well then that Garuda was a pain in the ass uh, so by next time by next times I'm playing and I'm starting first I think I'm not gonna put the zero at here even if it's like um, underneath this this roof I would rather put this here so I'm controlling all this area I'm at the same uh, range I mean the same height at this building so uh, I'm sure nothing can just climb higher than this and shoot at my Zerath prone and if so it's just got mimetism and cover so it's not easy to just target and be targeted well I've learned that uh, mm, and that's pretty much it I got to my spot at least uh, as you can see guys I'm just uh, doing some bad reports where I'm winning and some others where I'm learning and losing okay well I hope you had fun hope you you have learned something from more aggression force or from ALF in this case <laughs> and hope you see you next time. See you.